Hey guys, real quick, just want to mention, I have a second YouTube channel now. Uh, it'll be on screen right now in the link in the description. You can check it out. It's going to be mostly for variety content. Uh, so for one-off gaming videos, I never made the cut or that I record for my friends. Uh, likewise, stream highlights, music, both covers and originals, IRL content, comedy sketches with my friends, whatever I feel like is going to go on the second channel. So the link will be in the description. Name's on screen right now. You can check it out. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the video. My sisters used to both do gymnastics, and they used to have to go to meets anytime they would score well, they would go to national meets around the country. And one time, I got the chance to travel to Seattle. And I actually went to the top of this, uh, the Space Needle. That was many years ago, and I don't remember, and I kind of want to go back. Space, the Sea Needle isn't going to be nearly as complex, but we can still go to the top and enjoy the view. What's going on, everybody? My name is Nettia16. Welcome back to another episode. Let's play SpongeBob SquarePants Bad Bikini Bottom. In the last episode, we played as Sandy for the first time, our third and final playable character, who was the, mo the mobile one, I guess. He's the one that does all the jumping and the floating. In this episode, we're entering here into the sea needle and seeing what it has to offer besides ver being very broken and having lots of gaps that we're going to probably fall and die. There you are, boy. Someone's broken the sea needle. That's horrible. The sea needle is the cradle of Crochet Corner. Yes, yes it is. But what's more important is that there are kinkies and shiny objects just outside the windows. Mr. Krabs, how can you think of money at a time like this? Easy. I just clear my mind. Money, money, money. Now listen here, boy. You know that I'll give you golden spatulas if you bring me shiny objects. But I'm going to sweeten the deal. If you can break all the tiki's here at the Sea Needle, I'll give you a bonus golden spatula. Why would I want to break the tiki's, Mr. Krabs? Uh, cause they were laughing at you and calling you funny names. What kind of funny names? Um, you know, SpongeBob butt pants. That's not very funny. Uh, no, but they said your mom was ugly. Ugly? All right, Mr. Krabs, break them I shall. You've got a deal. Smash all the tiki's, and for your troubles, I'll give you a golden spatula. Another side anecdote about my sisters is, um, I basically got introduced to this game because of my sisters, because I would watch them play it before I was really old enough to understand what's happening. And, uh, this line from Mr. Krabs here actually became a pretty a, a running joke between us because we would always come back here and listen to him because we thought it was funny the way he said it. So anytime we would just... You know, we'd always, we just always thought that that line from Mr. Krabs right there was funny, so we would always come back. And it became kind of a running joke with us. They still remember that. I shouldn't ask them that next time I see them. I have a lot of really good childhood memories with this game, and a lot of them do involve my sisters. Unfortunately, my sisters have indeed moved on in life, and I don't seem as much as I used to. But we're not going to talk about that. It's sad. Well, not really. Main gimmick of the Sea Needle is missing tiki's. Main gimmick of the Sea Needle is bungeeing. We're going to be bungeeing, trying to destroy all the tiki's in each section. It's pretty standard, pretty simple. The easiest way to do it is to get stuck. The easiest way to do it is to destroy the floating tiki's underneath each, um, is to destroy the floating tiki underneath each one then the other tiki's will fall and you'll still get it. As long as all the tiki's get destroyed at the end, you will still get the reward at the end. Very simple. You might think this area is a decent place to grind for shiny objects. It's actually not. I suppose if you wanted to, you could use this area to grind for shiny objects, but to be honest, it's not that great. There are much, much better locations to grind for shiny objects I'll be showing up later. Also, I really don't think that the Tiki's have any right to be calling my mom anything uh, when they look like that. Yeah. The beta footage of the Tiki's is something else. I'm glad they went with the design they did because those things are just... Ugh. There was a lot of beta footage, actually. Uh, if you're interested more in... A lot of the information I'm, on beta footage I'm getting came from uh, Tetrabit Gaming on YouTube with his video on this game. And also, the cuttingroomfloor.com has a lot of information on this game. It's very helpful too, so. In case you're curious, if you were to hit a Thunder Tiki, 
In case you were curious, if you were to hit a Thunder Tiki, uh, it would instantly explode. Excuse me. If you were to hit a Thunder Tiki, it would instantly explode. And you would take damage and every Tiki in that section would get, or get destroyed. At least I can show it off, actually. Wow, I actually got two of them, one right there. Alright, cool. Uh, this one has a ring of shiny objects. Around it, you can grab some tens and fives if you're interested in that. And you get these wonderful bungee sounds. I love the smack of. Wait, this is why SpongeBob needs so much underwear, is because. Uh, he's destroying it constantly by bungee jumping with it. Sheesh. Uh, there's normally supposed to be, like, dialogue here that Spongebob has. Normally he'd, like, be shouting and having fun, but it's not playing here for some reason. Fanfare means we won. Alright. Uh, there's this huge gap right here that actually has something in it, which you'll see momentarily. With all 11 steering wheels. Excuse me. Thank you. Good work, boy. Here's the golden spatula. I can't promise you. Well, at least you're a man of your word, Mr. Krabs. You see that there's a door right here. And there is a path that way. However, it's destroyed and we can't access that quite yet. We'll get to that later. Uh, you might be thinking... I'm playing as Sandy in this level. Also, I should mention, the characters in level that you play are predetermined. That might have been obvious. You can't access that as Sandy, so don't try. That might have been obvious, but I just thought I'd make I just thought I'd point that out just in case it wasn't. Uh, you will play as the same character in every level. Not well, not. Every time you play this game, the same character will be in each level. That's not random, you can't choose. The characters you play in each level are predetermined beforehand, so I thought you, I thought I should mention that. I don't know why she decided to say an Irish tagline when she's from Texas. Thank you, Mr. Kaz. Very cool. Alright, that was very quick. That did not take very long at all. I think we're gonna have another short episode today. We would normally have to walk down to the Sea Needle and take the elevator, but the magic of editing. SpongeBob. <laughs> I'm impressed. How did you find What? Why did their dialogue cut off there? That was weird. Well, there was these robots. I met Sandy, and the lighthouse was Okay, okay. Sorry I asked. Here's the golden spatula that I promised you. Thanks, Mrs. Puck. Now I'll help you guys evacuate. But SpongeBob, you don't have a driver's license. Oh, don't I? No, no you don't. Well, if I don't, then what's this? A library card. Oh. I love the running joke of Spongebob never being on his license. It's one of my favorite running jokes in Spongebob. Uh, the dialogue cutting off there, again, was kind of weird. Uh, it's, again, it's another quirk, I think, of this game. This game has a lot of quirks, and it just makes it fun. No, I've never watched My Hero Academia, don't ask. Okay. Anyway... That... is everything in Bikini Bottom- in Downtown Bikini Bottom for right now. Thank you, Chair. Eight out of nine socks and one golden spatula we have not gotten yet. Come back with the cruise bubble. We have not heard anything of this cruise bubble yet. Once we do, we'll have to come back and see what we can do with that. Outside of that, though, not jellyfish fields. That is everything there is to do in downtown Bikini Bottom. We knocked it out in three episodes. That is less time than we did jellyfish fields, actually. Could we have done jellyfish fields in three? We definitely could have. And we have enough shining objects. Let's go ahead and buy another one. We're probably not going to be able to buy a spatula from Mystic Crabs at the end of every level, 
just because we'll have to grind for a lot more shiny objects to get uh, to get the subsequent specials from Mr. Krabs. As you can see, he requires 4,000 for the next one. It's going to be a while before we have 4,000 shiny objects, so we're going to have to wait a little bit before we get the next one. I do believe we can wait, though. Uh, before you ask, I'm going to be turning all of Patrick's socks to him at once. So, as much as it would probably be easier to turn them in as we get them, I'm going to be turning them all in at once at the very end to get all eight of his special loads uh, at the same time. Besides that, though, with double the amount of spatulas we need to get in here, we now have enough spatulas to enter Lagoon. I think we'll do that next time. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and stick around for more content. And next time on Let's Play SpongeBob Bad Bikini Bottom, we will be entering the third world, Lagoon. See you guys then. Peace out.